If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable coins for your college football 25 team, check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The champ is here! Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shots. And then we have the college football cheese, as always. In today's video, we have an unannounced patch. Uh, which is something that EA typically does before there's any type of patch or any type of updates to this game or any game, really. They typically put out some sort of press release on their Twitter, typically on their CFB Direct Twitter, where they say that there's going to be a patch coming out. Typically, they say something like server maintenance. They usually do it around 6 a.m. Uh, because I guess that they figure that's when the least amount of people are on because they have to gate off certain sections of the game, uh, not allowing access, obviously, to online where they update the servers or whatever server maintenance they do. Sometimes it's server maintenance. Sometimes they actually change stuff. A lot of times they change stuff and they don't even really tell you. A lot of stuff, even when they put out patch notes, a lot of times there's like hidden stuff in the patch that they don't mention, like how certain defenses react to certain plays and stuff like that that they address. So I waited around as long as I could, but I don't expect them to be an actual uh, patch note release to this because I suspected that they were just going to fix something that they broke in the last patch. Something that's a gameplay bug that's definitely important, especially if you play like to play the way that I play. So I'm going to go ahead and get into that. But before I do, as always, if you guys want me to keep you up to date on uh, changes whenever these changes are made to the game, patches to EA College Football 25 or Madden 25, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, let's get right into the video. Now, since there were no patch notes, I don't know everything that was fixed, which is why I'm going to leave this open to you guys. I really only play Road to College Football and Dynasty, so yeah, I don't play uh, Road to Glory. I don't play Cut. So if you guys play those modes you see any changes, please let everybody know in the comment section. The one thing that they did patch, though, which I kind of expected to happen sooner rather than later, is something they broke in the last patch. And that's the running back on play action, which is something that I noticed right away. I like to put my running backs on patterns on just about every single play. So it wasn't too difficult for me to figure out that this is something that they probably want to patch right away. I'll go and I'll show you guys what happened and what they patched. And this is something that came about in the last patch. It was something that they didn't account for and they obviously didn't know about when they put it out because it still took them about a week. The last patch was on August 29th. Today is what, September 8th. So it took them about a week to fix this or September 9th, excuse me. So it took them over a week to fix this and we've been just dealing with it for the time being until then but before or after the last patch august 29th patch you couldn't put the running back you couldn't even select the running back if i wanted to put the running back on just a pass block or say i'm playing against somebody who's blitzing a uh, man zero blitz and i wanted to put him on a check and release you, you when you brought up your hot route menu and try to select the running back you couldn't put the running you could not select the running back you couldn't select the running back and put him on anything which like i said against a man zero blitz or something like that is huge because the only way to really reliably uh you know change your blocking structure to pick up man a lot of man zero blitzes is putting your running back on a check and release or a block and releases which is what they call it now so they did fix that i can now put my running back back on any pattern one i can select my running back again that was probably the hugest patch that made the most difficult to play which is why like i said i'm not surprised that they patched this right away but that was all that i really noticed that they patched i didn't notice any changes to like the team rankings uh when it came to like selecting teams florida state still rated uh number 11 even though they lost their first two games uh stuff like that i thought maybe it was possible that they changed they updated the rosters but if they didn't update this i don't think they would update the rosters i don't know the rosters well enough to know if they would have updated them anyway so i'm really not aware of all the things that were patched because there are no patch notes but i really feel like it was probably just a running back on play action that was patched because they're not going to want to advertise their own mistakes but since this is a short video i'm going to go over some things that they need to patch number one since i only play offline dynasty i don't know if this is an issue with online dynasty but whenever i go into a game for some reason my game option settings always revert to the default setting so if i kick off at the beginning of a drive or the beginning of the game i typically give my opponent great field position because it goes from tap and tap which is what i like to use to tap and hold so i usually have to go into my gameplay settings every single game to change that and my heat seeker window size which is at 100 percent by default i always have to put it back up to 200 percent when it comes to any issue of saving stuff offline and then actually going into a game it's usually a problem Things like when you go into Road to the College Football Playoffs, we should be able to save our audible plays. We should be able to save and use whatever team playbook we want. I don't think we should be stuck using the team specific, which is one of the things that I don't, I mean, I don't really have an issue with it, if I'm being honest. But I would like to use what team I want with what, with what playbook I want. Because realistically, all the playbooks are good. I want to use my favorite team and use whatever playbook I want. I want to use George's offensive playbook. I want to be able to use, um, you know, to me, there's so many good playbooks. I don't think there's one specific playbook that's so broken that everybody would jump on it. 
uh, except for custom. I have no issue without being able to use custom, but I know a lot of people want to use custom. So to me, you know, I, I mean, I definitely would make a fun custom playbook if I did have that option. But to me, these are some of the biggest issues. I also want to be able to save my depth chart. I don't want to leave it up to my opponent. I mean, I know they give you two timeouts, but I don't want to have to pause every single game at the beginning of the game and go through my depth chart every single time. I should be able to do that offline and it should save online. That's in, that sounds kind of basic to me, but you can see a trend here. There's a lot of issues from doing things offline that change once you get into a game and I don't understand why. So I don't know if that's something that uh, is, a, is a larger issue that EA can't patch, but these are the issues that are just quality of life issues that I feel like really need to get fixed to make this game uh, a lot less of a grind when just doing something simple like wanting to play a bunch of games and road to CFP. You should be able to save your, your, I mean, your coaching adjustments. Any adjustment you make, you should be able to save so I can just play the game and enjoy the game and not have to do the same thing, the re same repetitive work over and over and over and over every single time I play a game. I don't think that that's too much to ask because to me, the gameplay itself, I know a lot of people complain about pursuit angles and broken tackles and this and that, and you can leave your, your, uh, your complaints in the comments section because I know everybody's complaints are different. I don't have a problem with the gameplay. There's nothing about the actual gameplay I have a problem with. The only thing I have is all the work that I have to consistently do over and over and over and over again before I actually get to play the game. I mean, it's just stupid. It doesn't make any sense to have to do the same thing things over and over and over when I just want to play the game. That's the fun part. So let me do that and stop making it such a chore. I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. I don't want to make this video too long because like I said, it was an update video and we don't really know what the update was considering that, like I said, I don't expect any patch notes. But if that comes out later, I apologize for jumping the gun and putting this video out too soon before the actual patch notes came out. But I did want to let you guys know, which I'm sure a lot of you guys are at work right now, I did want to let everybody know that the running back glitch is fixed because I'm sure everybody knows that you can't play game mode without noticing that hey i can't change the running back you know what i mean that was pretty important that's one of 11 guys on the field so that's almost 10 percent of the offense you know what i mean so to be able to get back full control that is really nice and i'm glad that they put the time in to fix that so i'm definitely not demonizing them for fixing it i just wish they would have a little bit more communication and there's a few more issues that i wish they would work on to make this game just that much better because it really is in my opinion the best football game on the market right now i think it's way better than madden sorry to sorry to say that but Madden it just doesn't feel nearly as polished. It feels like they're definitely putting more time into this game too. Based on the fact that they fixed this custom stamp glitch in this game by removing the option to basically, um, you know, take away the smart route option after you use the custom stamp. That doesn't sound too hard, but for some reason they said they did it in Madden and they didn't do it in Madden. So it just lets me know that they're definitely putting way more time into college football than they are in Madden because this is their golden goose right now. So I'm gonna go to Madden the video. Like I said, if you guys wanna see more videos uh, of college football or Madden, I'll have them pop it up on screen. So just click the links. Until next time, thanks for watching, man. I should out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.